Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing Crafty Free Minecraft Global. Okay, I done a few things in the backgrounds between the episodes. First, I made this. Because uh, at constantly I don't use much energy, but sometimes I and my energy consumption fluctuates and I want to be safe. Also, we are going to add a lot of new machines second as you can see here we start a new building and this building is going to consume all of my steel uh, actually it already depleted my steel uh, resource twice so yeah i i had to mine and did some uh yeah um, steel production and one more thing is actually let me just go to free cam because it would be much easier for me and show you here yes here uh our charcoal production it's garbage i created another uh, two sets of uh, bamboo farm and uh, did this this and it's still garbage it's still not enough, and what I decide to do is either a kapok or Douglas fir uh, farm that is just dedicated for charcoal production. So yeah, I'm probably going to create another farm here, just for them, and then it would be a tree, a tree production, just for that. Uh, just for that and it will be Yeah Other than that or I can just use the regular old tree production and use level elementers because In that case, I will use Douglas for because I don't think I'm going to use it on any buildings uh, Yet but on the other hand I love color purple and kpok has a really nice uh, a really sweet uh purple so tone so yeah that's the main issues and first things first steel production uh you already know know that i have a steel production already exists i i can fully automate that it's possible i can 100 percent automate that but it's probably going to be in the diminishing returns territory. And yeah, I don't want to waste that much time. And on the other hand, I the main ingots conversion part should be enough for now. So I created two hammers just for that. And yeah, and on the other hand, also I turned a lot of uh, coal to a bitterness coal and with that it's actually quite simple to manually add resources to our steel production so yeah let's do that okay with our new system our first pri uh, part is this and also with this yes I have to move this chest, but where can, can I move it? Actually, I can just move the content from here. Oh! New recipe unlocked. Why? So... Here. Yes. And then... Let me just break you. I must break you. And rest is actually super easy, but I have to make another U uh, mold, mold table. Oh, let's do that. Mold table. I'm fired. Mold table, and I have to cook it here. Okay, we need fire clay for that. Okay, uh, it's ready, and now what we need is simply 
a molding uh, area with that. How okay. Let's just. I don't want to be it here, so it's going to be here, and then the mold table is going to be here, and the mold is this. Okay, and where's my marble bricks? Thank you. Actually, wait, wait a second. No, 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 that's good. That's good. And then the shoot part. Yes. And did I have a buffer here? Oh, no. Actually, the shoot itself is going to be an enough buffer. So let's just wait a second. I can make. Is much more simpler and much more elegant. I don't need that much buffer, so I can just send you here with this and the mold here. The shoot here. Yes, it's taking shape. And then one strange contraption. And no, and wait, it's not necessary. Let's make one more strange contraption here. And voila. Now what we need is two deployers. Yeah, of course I forget them. Okay, we have our deployers, and the only thing we have to do is... Actually, wait a second. We can just power them like this. And that would be enough, I guess. Okay, let's give them... Give those guys their hammers, and... Let's have our chest here. Actually, I can use a vault, but I don't want to. Okay. Actually, should be a vault. The vault be a better alternative. Might be. Let's use them. And use... Nah, uh, taking from chest would be much easier. Okay. And what we need last is... Do I have any? I have brass funnels, but I don't have no normal funnels. Okay, uh, but it's easy to make. It's super simple to make. And the entire machine should be done now. Only thing left is power, power this thing. So let me just think about so, a way of powering it. Now with the last thing that we are going to have with this build, we are going to make our new power system. Actually, wait a second. I think I made a great mistake and yeah, let me just do that, do these, uh, get back you, to you, to you, and this where are you here thank you uh, wait a second actually let me just cover this back and wait at uh, this area too and simple cock okay what we have missing now it's actually quite simple i forgot a clutch 
and that's actually the most simplest thing to do. Yeah, and uh, how should I? Okay, the clutch is ready, and is it working or is it overstressed? No. Okay. Why are you not starting? Okay. Oh, okay, because I've uh, encased early. Okay, it works. Now what we need is a redstone signal. Which we have. And the frequency is going to be still still. Let's get one stealing good and just can I put it here? No, I can't. Of course I can't. Why did I believe it would be that easy? And but I can put it here. Okay, let's put it here. And close this. And close. No, like that. Okay, close that and that. Okay, let's make. Uh, this is going to be a bit of headache, but let me just. Jump some hoops, literally, and put you here in a receiver state and not with shift clicking. And your frequency is going to be still, still. And let's fill this area back with some. Ugly, ugly blocks. Okay, and now if I put also this back, and if I put a, uh, if I put the frequency here, I uh, just <laughs> repeat myself several times, sorry, and a lever. Let me look. Lever. It's cobblestone and stick. Okay, our lever is also ready, and if I do that, this entire thing is going to stop. And I'm gonna need some indicators now. Okay, actually, let me just invert the stuff. So we can just uh, see it better, and that would be easier for us. Okay, with this setup, we have a redstone lamp, we have a redstone link connected to it, and a simple invert, inverting uh, thingy and GD here. So yeah, everything is... Perfect now. And our steel production is fully functional. It's not 100% automated steel production, but we don't need that much of uh, automation at the moment, so we're just going to have a good enough system at the moment. Uh, which is actually the most tedious part, part is after I did Vitamin skull parts is turning them into ingots, so yeah, we handle the hardest part, guys. And yeah, our system is ready to roll. And now we can make our steels faster, and I just didn't have to think about turning them into ingots and uh, processing them again and again and again and again. It's just automated stuff for us. I just need to feed the machine. 
that's it. And now uh, I'm going to enter a live stream uh, after this recording. Uh, if uh, I might ha add a well, time lapse, uh, not time lapse, more um, a montage here about this building. So yeah, I'm going to finish and uh, not finish actually. I will have to add a lot of things in it and. I, I'm planning this building to be a a bit modular, and not modular. I be it overgrowing. Uh, actually, I might need I might not need that because we have a limited amount of resources that we have to categorize and uh, in a really really constant amount. So I might not need that much. So I I might have a limit to this entire building so let me just do that and i might i will probably not going to finish this episode now <laughs> Okay, it's literally the next day for me, and yeah, building is getting into a shape. I eat a lot of steel by by doing the, those guys, and I think I'm going to delete last two rows for this floor because I'm going to store twenty different types of. Uh, rock here cobblestone here and 20 different types of cobble uh, not cobble uh, gravel related to them here and i think i'm going to store some variants here uh, in chests or ores here in uh, some a bit smaller uh, walls and chests. Also, in here, I think I'm going to store sands in a smaller environment. So, yeah, th that's going to be change a bit. This area is going to be an elevator shaft. And, yeah, I still didn't decide what should I do with the flooring. But it's getting into... It's getting into a shape. And second, I uh, in episode I kind of sort of forgot one thing about 
our contraption here. Uh, the thing is, I forgot to connect this guy. So yeah, it was funny. It was interesting. And one more uh, thing. Let's go here. Actually, I will use free cam again. Because it would be just easier to show you. I need to uh, I need to make a better way to get here. Okay, as you can see the this area is a bit more different because I redesigned it to use this guy. Uh, I think it's uh, ah then sh this guy the uh, Douglas fur. It's using Douglas fur as burn fuel. And there is a threshold switch with this guy. And also we have tunnels here. So yeah, it will just shut down the entire thing when this guy is uh, near full. And it's much, much, much faster. And I don't pl uh, plan on using Douglas fur on anything else if it's uh, needed I just I just can uh, temporarily stop this guy so yeah it's it's all good now <laughs> and we have a working uh, charcoal generation and one thing left is finish it up uh, at least first two floors of this building and create a train docking area. Next episode, we are going to initialize our sorting system with belts, a lot of belts and a lot of uh, depots, and it's going to be fun. It was sar a bit sarcastic, as you can see, uh, as you can understand from my tone. Yeah, it's not going to be a fun adventure. It's going to be a tedious, but it's in the end it will pay off. So yeah, this is Shifty Shifty, and have a nice day.